Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to find the quartile for ungrouped data. So the quartiles are the score points which divide a distribution into four equal parts. Okay? So as you can see guys in our figure, uh, we use three quartiles to divide the distribution into four. Okay? Yung Q sub 1, Yan yung tinatawag nating first quartile or also known as the lower quartile. Okay? Yung Q sub 3, that is our third quartile or also known as the upper quartile. Then yung ating Q sub 2 naman is the same lang yan guys ng ating median. Okay? That is our second quartile. So, as you can see guys, these quartiles divide the distribution into four equal parts. Then, per division guys, we have 25% ng ating distribution. Okay? So, that means na 25% ng ating data falls below the first quartile. Then, 50% ng ating data falls below the second quartile. And 75% ng ating data falls below the third quartile. Okay? So, yung interquartile range naman, that is the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile. So, naintindihan ba guys kung ano yung quartiles? So, let's have example number one. The owner of a coffee shop recorded the number of customers who came into his cafe each hour in a day. So these are the results. Then we are asked to find the lower quartile and upper quartile of the data. So ang step 1 natin dito guys is we need to rearrange yung ating results in ascending order. Okay, so as you can see, 5 is yung ating list value, so that is our starting point, followed by 8, then 9, then another 9, then we have 2 tens, then 11, 12, 14, 14, 14, and 17. Okay? So, after natin ngayon ma-rearrange yung ating results, pwede na natin ma-locate yung ating second quartile. Okay? Yung ating second quartile is same lang yan guys ng ating median. Tama? And that is the middle value ng ating distribution. Okay? So kung i-divide natin yung distribution natin into two equal parts, so we have uh, five values from the left, then we have five values from the right, meaning ang middle natin or ang middle value natin is equals to 10. Tama? So, that is our second quartile. Nakuha guys? Ngayon, after natin malocate yung ating second quartile, pwede na natin malocate yung ating first quartile and third quartile. Okay? Yung first quartile guys, that is the middle value from doon sa ating list value kapunta kay second quartile. Okay, so kung bibilang tayo, we have two numbers from the left, then another two numbers from the right. Ibig sabihin, yung first quartile natin is equals to positive 9. Nakuha guys? Then, same procedure doon sa ating third quartile. Yun nga lang, this time, that is the middle value from the second quartile and the greatest value. Okay? So, dito kung bibilang tayo, we have two numbers from the left, then another two numbers from the right. Ibig sabihin, si 14 is yung ating third quartile. Okay? Okay? So, we have Q sub 3 is equals to positive 14. Ngayon guys, uh, importante rin kay statistics na ma-interpret natin yung mga nakukuha nating value. Tama? 
So, kung i-interpret natin yung ating Q sub 1 equals 9, ang ibig sabihin niyan, since yung 1, that is our first quartile, meaning 25% ng ating data falls below 9. Tama? Then, sa ating Q sub 2 naman, that's the median, meaning we have 50% of the data falls below 10. Nakuha guys? Then, dun naman sa ating Q sub 3, we have 75% of the data falls below 14. So, naiintindihan ba guys kung anong ibig sabihin ng ating Q sub 1, Q sub 2, and Q sub 3? So, next is we have two alternative methods on how to locate the position ng ating quartiles. Ang first alternative method natin is yung Menden, Mendenhall and Sinich method. Okay? In this method guys, uh, to locate the lower quartile or yung position ng ating Q sub 1, we will use this formula, 1 4 times n plus 1. So just in case guys na decimal, yung result ng ating formula, ang gagawin natin is magra-round off tayo para makuha natin yung position ng ating first quartile. Okay? Then for the upper quartile or the position ng ating uh, third quartile, so gagamitin natin yung formula na 3 4 times n plus 1. Okay, so again, if this formula gives us uh, decimals na result, ang gagawin naman natin this time is magra-round down. Okay? Then meron din tayong formula to locate the second quartile. So, as you can see naman, na numerator lang ang pinagkaiba nila. So, that means na yung ating second quartile is equals to 2 fourth or 1 half times n plus 1. Okay? So, yung n dito guys, that is the number of data. Okay? So, let's have example number 2. So, given the data set, find q sub 1, q sub 2, and q sub 3. Okay, so using the formula, we have Q sub 1 is equals to 1 4 times N plus 1. Tama? So, ang N natin dito is the number of data. So, kung bibilangin natin yan, ang number of data natin is equals to 9. Okay? So, ngayon, substitute natin yan din sa ating formula. We have Q sub 1 is equals to 1 4 times n which is 9 plus 1 so that is 1 fourth times 10 okay so multiply natin yan guys we have 1 fourth times 10 we have 2.5 so since decimal guys yung ating um, q sub 1 o yung position ng ating q sub 1 ibig sabihin tayo ay magra round up Okay, pag nag-round up tayo, that is equivalent to 3, meaning ang location ng ating Q sub 1 is 3rd. Okay, so bilangin natin yan dun sa ating data set. So, 1, 2, 3. So, ibig sabihin, ang Q sub 1 natin is equals to positive 7. Okay, so kung i-interpret natin ngayon yan guys, that is... 25% of the data falls below positive 7. Nakuha? Next is yung ating second quartile. We have Q sub 2 is equals to 1 fourth times n plus 1. Okay, since n is equals to 9, so substitute lang natin yan. We have, ah sorry, this is... 2 fourth. So that is 2 over 4 times n which is 9 plus 1. So ang second quartile natin is 2 fourth times 10. Okay, so pag minultiply natin yan guys, so we have 10 times 2, that is 20 
divided by 4, we have 5. So, ibig sabihin, ang position ng ating second quartile is pang 5. Tama? So, kung bibilangin natin yan dun sa ating distribution, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, then ang pang lima natin is equals to 16. Okay? So, ang ating second quartile is equals to positive 16. So, pag in-interpret natin yan, guys, so that is 50% of the data falls below positive 16. Okay? Last is yung ating third quartile. So, that is 3 fourth times n plus 1. So, ang n natin dito, guys, is equals to positive 9. So, we have 3 fourth times 9 plus 1. So, that is 3 fourth times 10. Tama? Tama? So, pag minultiply natin yan, guys, 10 times 3, that is 30 divided by 4. So, ang Q sub 3 natin is equal to 7.5. Okay, so since decimal, yung value ng ating or yung position ng ating uh, Q sub 3, ibig sabihin tayo ay magra-round down. Okay? So, meaning, ang Q sub 3 natin is equals to 7. Tama? Pag sinabi natin round down, kahit na ano yung decimal ang lumabas dito, lagi tayong mag stay doon sa whole number natin. So, that is 7. Okay? So, ang Q sub 3 natin is yung pampito. So, bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, ang ating Q sub 3 is equals to 27. Okay, so pag ininterpret natin yan guys, so that is 75% of the data falls below 27. Okay, so this is the end of our video. If you have questions or clarifications guys, kindly put them in the comment section below. So thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!